Hello guys, this is Pawan Joshi from Embryotronics. So as in my first video also, I have told you like uh, we will uh, come up with uh, first with 8-bit controllers, then we will move to 32-bit uh, controllers. So here I am going to start um, some tutorials based on LPC2148 uh, that is ARM7 based uh, uh, IC and uh, LPC2148 is uh, founded by means like it's manufactured by Philips and that is uh, uh, previously known as NXP. So now in this LPC2148 we have uh, you can see the detail in our uh, this if I will just type here LPC2148 you will see um, uh, actually in Proteus we don't have 48 but we have LPC2138 and there is not so much difference between these two as in case of LPC2148 uh, we have a little difference uh, of uh, something like ADC and all there we have uh, uh, there we have uh, two, two ADCs are there but uh, uh, there is 14 bit 14 channel ADCs are there then here we have eight channels ADC and uh, so uh, in this uh, keel only we will first create uh, one project based on LPC2148 and uh, we will just uh, simulate that thing a blinky project we will create blinky means we will just uh, make one LED uh, we will connect uh, with one uh, pin of this LPC2148 and we will just make it blink uh, using some delay uh, so here some resistors and all I'll just uh, briefly tell you about those things how we can just configure in uh, any pin as an output uh, because here we need to make that pin as an output LED uh, pin so okay we will just start how can we create one project so first uh, just go to this project and here you can just click new microvision project and here if uh, uh, in this uh, somewhere in the location you just select uh, you can click new folder and in new folder you can just give name to this blink key let's say let's say blink one folder we have given this name now in this blink uh, I'm just giving the file name of that uh, project uh, same name we can give blink now I'll just save this thing so here uh, in this uh, uh, one pop-up will come and here you need to choose, choose which device you, you need to use. So here uh, as we have already told you we are using LPC2148. So I'll just uh, uh, type that thing LPC21. Uh, okay before that we need to change here this legacy device database. So here uh, legacy device uh, database we have chosen now we will just type that LPC 2148 so here we go this is the thing and one USB 2.0 full speed device count two UARTs are there two I2Cs two SPIs and two 32 bit timers so here so many details are there CPU clock is 60 in 60 megahertz on chip crystal oscillator and on chip PLL now if uh, I just um, uh, you know now what I need to do I, I need to just click on this ok so if I just click ok so here it will say like copy startup products to project folder and add file to project so you can do yes uh, here uh, now you can see your project blink is created and target one this is a default target now source group one here uh, this startup file is added here you can see this is the startup file for Philips LPC 212000 and uh, these are the things addresses and all offset address these things so here it's like you can see EMC definitions are there now if I will just uh, uh, what I need to do I need to uh, uh, create one file where we will write our code 
blink an LED so here I'll just click on this new and here this text one will be will come so here in this now if I just um, uh, first I need to save this so I'll just control s and uh, now let's uh, give it a name again blink uh, we we are making a zip file that's why blink dot c with c extension so I'll just hit enter so here you can see blink dot c came now I have already uh, written already have written one code for blink so I'll just uh, make uh, uh, the, just paste that code here so here you can see uh, this is the code so here we have the header file pc uh, 214x.h and uh, here one delay function declaration is there and main we uh, okay I'll just explain this what is these registers are there so these registers are there io0 dir and then uh, this io0 uh, scd and io0 clr so these registers are defined in this lpc214x.h so what uh, will we do we will just uh, first add this thing in this source group one so if i'll just uh, uh, double click on this and uh, this blink.c uh, will be added so click on this add now close if I'll just uh, build this thing, so this lpc214x.h will be added to the source group uh, 1 automatically. So if I'll just uh, first uh, just translate that. So here in translation you can see here this lpc214x.h is created and added to this source group 1. Uh, now if I'll just click on this, here you can see in this uh, 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 file you can... Uh, uh, see these registers are defined so these are the addresses of those registers just like io0 set is here and this is io0 dir so this 0 is representing port 0 of this lpc2148 there are two ports uh, are there port 0 and port 1 in port 0 on port, port 1 both have 32 pins are there but in port 0 we have just like some 26 to 28 pins are usable and uh, three pins are uh, unuse unusable and uh, the same way in port one we have uh, from port zero port 1.0 to port P P1.15 those pins are uh, unavailable and other pins are uh, just bi-direction pins so same way here in this uh, case we have IO pin 1 IO set 1 IO DIR 1 and IO CLR CLR 1 for port 1 so these things are there and same with these uh, things for port 0 general purpose input output GPIO pins uh, uh, we call these uh, these pin these registers we call just general purpose registers so now uh, if uh, these volatile with volatile keyword we are just uh, putting these address means like this is header file already adjusted by uh, LPC this Philips uh, uh, manufacturer so you can see here header file for Philips LPC 2148414244648 so you need to just add this this file so that this file will not give any error because here we have given these names you can also uh, put directly those addresses here that on that case case you need, don't need to put this header file because you are directly directly putting those addresses which are defined here in this file so that thing also you can do but for just uh, our simplicity purpose we uh, we we have done this uh, uh, these things uh, now this io0 dir this io0 dir is directional uh, did con control uh, registers so means like uh, uh, if we want to make uh, any pin as an output so on that case we need to give one to that particular pin and if we want to uh, make that pin input then on that case we need to give zero on that pin so here we are use we are going to blink one LED so that definitely that pin will be output so that's why 
these things uh, what we have written here here you can see this is a 32 bit register so this uh, single zero means we have four binary zero it means uh, if i'll just uh, in uh, this case if i'll just uh, here if i'll just explain that so this single zero means zero 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 in binary and then again zero 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 and then again zero 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 and then again zero 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 and then again the same way this zero 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 so this uh, this way it will repeat uh, till 32 uh, bit means like till uh, just last this this level is one zero 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 so i'll just do this way okay sorry i'll just uh, do here like this is repeating and the last symbol will be uh, one zero 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 so this one uh, we are just making this particular bit as an output that's why we have okay here we that's why we have just uh, uh, given this last uh, byte last nibble I would say as 8 so 0 0 0 0 and then this 0 0 0 8 so uh, the total number of bits are 32 so here we are making as an output that's why we have given 1 0 0 0 now in, in this while loop in this is infinite loop we can write this way also we can write while 1 so this thing uh, we have written for just infinite loop now in this last case we have written this uh, here io0 set so port 0 we are using and for just uh, uh, making any pin high we need to write i we need to set that particular bit so io0 set for just making that bit high we are just writing this zero this thing we are writing the same thing what we have written here here also we are writing and and then we are giving delay uh, so so that it will just uh, hold this value for this particular delay and then we are clearing that particular uh, bit again so that it will blink means like this is for on and this is for off and here we are just clearing the, the same bit so for setting and clearing both we need to give one to those particular bit there here we don't need to give zero to any any pin uh, zero doesn't make any sense here because those risks are made up like that i use zero set for setting that particular bit and i use zero clear for clearing that particular bit so here we are giving delay 100 and here also we will give delay 100 so here and delay definition is uh, down here here uh, delay 100 means t will be equivalent to this 100 and here we have just declared two particular uh, variable and here one loop we are running for i equals to i less than t i plus plus and the g will value will be will go till 4000 counts and this uh, just uh, polling method we are using for <laughs> giving delay so here it will wait now if i just uh, compile this uh, translate and then if I just build this uh, here uh, we will just see this uh, how this uh, thing will work in our Proteus simulation so we will just move to our Proteus simulation here this is our Proteus simulation so So this cancel this thing now here this uh, setup we have already made this is LPC2138 uh, we have used actually because 48 is not available in this Proteus but the same thing uh, it will means like the, the code will work in this case also because there is no such much difference in between these controllers so here you can see we have just uh, rotate this uh, I see uh, anti-clockwise and this is port 0 this one and the down one is this is port 1 
and here in port 0 we have connected 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 uh, this P0 point uh, 3 we have connected LED because this is last level uh, what we have written 8, 1, 0, 0, 0 so 1, 0, 0, 0 so this LED is connected to this P0.3 and we have already loaded our hex file how we will create hex file for let me tell you that also we need to go to flash configure flash tools anyhow elf file is also already created that file also you can put but in output here you can just create this hex file and uh, if we just do ok and again if just you just build this thing so automatically hex file is created we have already loaded now i'll just run this thing so here you can see uh, this blinking is happening now if you you can change uh, delay pattern and all if you just uh, uh, do this uh, just keep 10 means like off time will be less uh, compared to on time and just build this thing and if you will just again this uh, run this thing so you can see on time is clearly seen more than off time and uh, uh, one more thing I'll just tell you you can uh, you can do this uh, this these things declaration and all initialization and all you can do in so many ways one more method is you can just or uh, put this or symbol here and if you want to just uh, uh, just forget uh, because sometimes this is very clumsy to use uh, this way so you can just uh, use uh, this uh, this you can save um, uh, you can just strike one left shift uh, you need to make this uh, fourth pin zero one two three so third pin you want so you can write this uh, way also this is called so this is bitwise operator uh, one left shift three as third uh, bit from we are shifting third bit means we are enabling that uh, third bit from uh, this uh, uh, IO 0 DIR register means port 0 uh, uh, register and same way if I will just build this thing again it will work in the same way here you can see so same way you can just uh, do all up for all other registers as well so here you can just you can write this and same way one left shift 3 now So here we have also changed this IO0 set and IO0 CLR with these bitwise operators uh, one left shift 3 and one left shift 3 both for both set and clear because setting we are clearing and setting uh, the same pins uh, anyhow we need to do setting and clearing for the same pin now if I just again just build this and again just I'll here in protein I'll just run this uh, here you can see it's working uh, so it's blinking in the same way so here uh, in many ways you can just uh, initialize those registers mm, so ho I hope you like this video if you have any doubt regarding this uh, uh, tutorial just uh, comment us below and uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel because here you will uh, get a lot of uh, embedded tutorials uh, you will get. 
so hopefully you like this thank you guys thank you very much